in this video, I'll be telling you the best resources for Bitsa 2026 and all of them are going to be free of cost, right? So we'll start with the first and the most important resource that are the Bitsat PYQs. And Bitsat PYQs are not available on the internet because they do not officially release it, but you can find a lot of Bitsat memory-based questions on multiple platforms. And ExamsNet is one such platform. They've got a huge repository of Bitsat memory-based questions, uh, and you can see from 2005 to 2023, and they have got it for multiple different examinations, right? Um, these are KCT, Keem, KVPY, Manipal entrance exam, MHTCT, and also for JW. And one of the best things about ExamsNet is that you can attempt all these PYQs in the form of mock tests. Let me show you the user interface, right? So this is for Bitsat, and it is from 2005 to 2023 also. Uh, 2024 is also available, and also in the form of different shifts, right? And you can get the solutions. The solutions are available to you in both the PDF and the video format, right? So it's a go-to resource. And yup, you can just follow me on Instagram. I keep updating you about the ever-changing pattern of Bitsat examination and all such different examinations. So you can just follow me to stay updated. Now, although ExamsNet is very much sufficient for your Bitsat PYQs, but it has got one limitation that it has not categorized the questions in topic-wise manner. For example, meko, uh, you know, SHM ki practice karni hai, or mera SHM week hai, or mujhe keval Bitsat questions ki practice karni hai. So it will not be there. And for that, you can actually refer to the exam side, which is categorize the questions, the Bitsat questions into chapter wise fashion, right? Now we'll come on to the second most important section, which is the English LR. And English LR is something that is very, very specific to Bitsat. You don't find this thing in JWE. And that's why students face a lot of problem in finding the appropriate and decent questions for English LR. Now coming on to point number two, that English LR is very, very easy to score. People who have qualified Bitsat tend to score fairly high in their English LR section. And also you'll find English LR section in most of the non-J examinations, maybe VIEEE, Manipal entrance exams or UGW, right? So this is a section that is that should not be really ignored. So now I'll suggest you some really important resources for English LR. And the resource number one are two websites called as Exam Veda and Rankers Hub. What they have done is that they have categorized the English LR into various different subtopics. So you can just go on to each subtopic and can practice as many questions as you want. Now coming on to the resource number two, which is NTSC papers, and they are probably the closest you can get to the Bitsat questions, right? So they are really recommended for the LR preparation. Now coming on to resource number three, so this is career icons and here you can practice the English LR questions in the form of mock format, right? So this is very important for a time bounded practice specifically for English LR. Now there's one big problem with English LR that the subtopic that the subject itself is very broad and not every topic of English LR is relevant in Bitsat. So I've taken down a list of things that are actually very, very important. So talking about LR, so first category is verbal reasoning. And in verbal reasoning, analogy, series completion, silo, direction sense problems, comprehension, blood relations, and coding decoding problems are very important. In non-verbal reasoning, figure matrix, paper cutting, uh, paper folding, paper cutting, cubes and dice, and figure formation analysis through either symmetry or dot detection is very important. In English, LR sentence rearrangement and completions are the most asked questions, but they often involve grammatical concepts like subject verb agreement, tenses, prepositions versus adverbs, or even modifiers. So this is all about English LR. So after English LR, we'll come on to the books for each subject. I mean the problem solving books for each subject, right? So starting off with chemistry, so NCRT kind of suffices for your theory part. And for the numericals, NCRT can back questions and exemplar are very, very important. Along with that, you can do the JMA and PYQs. Now coming on to physics, so NCRT exemplar is again very important. You'll find a lot of questions for numericals in Bitsat that directly mirror the concepts that were used in NCRT exemplar, right? And then HC Verma is pretty great for the conceptual clarity and you can do the objective questions and the level one questions. And coming on to the third book, which is DC Pandey and for DC Pandey level one questions are more than sufficient, right? And coming on to the PYQs, so 2021 to 2024 questions are very, very important for your physics preparation. Now coming on to maths, so uh, one is R.D. Sharma and the second is Sengage. You can do any one of them, right? Because Sengage or R.D. Sharma, any one of them is like really massive to complete, uh, right? And in R.D. Sharma, uh, you have to uh, use the, the objective book 
and not the one that is oriented for the class 12 bots right so this is something you have to keep in mind and apart from that you can use the 2021 to 2024 pyqs and additionally you can use the 2019 pyqs for jwe maths because in 2019 there were there were a lot of math mathematical questions that were not so calculation uh, that were not lengthy in terms of calculations and you find a chunk of questions like that appearing in your bitsat paper right and obviously the chronology is very very important in each of the subject you have to you know increase the level bit by bit right and now coming on to the best youtube channels you can use for bitsat so i've categorized it in two different parts one is for the quick revision and second is for the in-depth explanation for physics you can um, refer to the edunity one shots for chemistry you can uh, refer to pankaj sir's videos and for maths you can either go with jay nexus or mohit yagi sir's video right this is for a quick revision and for in-depth explanation you can go with ashi sharoda sir's lecture for physics in chemistry you can uh, just refer to the bounce back videos and in mathematics, you can refer to the Nishant Bora Sir's lectures, uh, you know, in Bora classes or in Bounce Back. Now, all of this might sound very overwhelming to you guys because BitSat and GWE are very different examinations and they need different set of resources. And that's why there are so many resources and you might feel confused and can lead to a chaotic preparation. And to avoid that, you need a one-stop solution for your overall BitSat preparation, right? And that's what Fodu Club is. It's a bitchin led platform that has been used by over 2000 plus Bits Pilani students, correct? And you can refer to their Bitsat 2026 crash course, wherein you'll find comprehensive PCM lectures, more than 20 plus full length mock test series, along with English LR crash course, chapter wise tests, and mentorship by Bitsians themselves. Also, they provide you the latest memory based questions procured by the students themselves, right? And also, for an extensive preparation, you can refer to their Fodu Club Bitsat question bank where you, wherein you'll find a lot of questions that are at par with the level of the Bitsat questions, right? And yes, you can use my coupon code Nehit7 to get a 10% scholarship. And if at all you score 300 plus, then you'll get a 100% refund on all the fees.